everybody, it's Rob. We are at a number, another, excuse me, five minute member talk. Uh, today we're with Ray Morse. Uh, hi, Ray, how are you today? Hi, I'm good. <laughs> good to have you on here. T Ray, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where, where, where are you located and uh, what is your position? Sure, I'm the funeral director at Cedar Lawn's Funeral Home in Redmond. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, Ray, just um, we were talking and before we got on this and um, one of the topics that we talked about, you and I, was the fact that you guys there at your location are very active in repatriating people back to India. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that process? Sure. So it is a very... Um, detailed process. We have to do expedited documents as far as the death certificates and transit permits. Um, we have to take them to Olympia and get them apostilled by the Secretary of State. Wow. And then after that, um, we or the family has to fly to San Francisco to have them signed off on by the Indian consulate. At that point, we can begin booking the flights and um, get them on the plane to India. That uh, sounds like a very detailed process. So there's a lot of moving parts uh, to this process uh, with the family being involved, uh, with you guys being involved, all the travel back and forth. How long does this process say from the time you get the, the death call, how long does it take before you're actually ready to transport somebody to the air, airlines and to send them back home for, for their um, internment? We try to do it in about four to five days because the fights are so long and because the Hindu religion wants to cremate their loved ones usually within seven days. So you'll, you'll go through this process um, of preparation for flight. I'm assuming that that will require uh, an embalming procedure. Is that accurate? That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you'll go through the process of getting the embalming done, uh, go through the process of the apostille, go through the consulate, get to the airlines, uh, get this individual back to India, and then when they arrive there, what, what takes place? Is there a funeral home that receives them there or is there a, a family that receives them? How does that work? It depends. Sometimes a funeral home receives them. Sometimes the family will fly with the body and will drive them to the area where they will be cremated, which may be an electric crematory or it may be um, a cremation field essentially. Like like an open air, mm -hmm. field. wow, that yeah. that's 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 a lot different than uh, what we see and 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 work with or deal with here in the states for sure. Yeah. Uh, how, how often are you guys involved with this process? We've been doing it about once a month um, for the last six months that I've worked here. That that's amazing. Uh, so that's quite quite a number of people. Um, you we just do it for full bodies and we do it for cremated remains. Okay. Okay. So can you, so you can do the cremation or perform the cremation here. Is the process less involved if you do that? I mean, are you still dealing with the apostille, the consulate, all of that, if you do the cremation first and then transport? Yes. You're still supposed to have um, the consulate sign off on the documents to have them the cremated remains repatriated wow that, that's amazing that's amazing now uh ray i i did see on facebook that um you just recently graduated from college i, I did to, to I, I graduated from colorado um colorado state university University Global Campus with a Bachelor's of Science in Business Management. Um, wow. And I graduated from Arapahoe Community College a year ago with my Associate of Applied Science in Mortuary Science. 
-hmm. So this last year has been quite uh, quite a roller coaster, I guess you could say. You've kind of done yeah. quite a bit of stuff and, and been all over, haven't you? Yes, it's been four years of full-time college. <laughs> That's been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, congratulations. I am, uh, I'm excited for you. I'm happy that you graduated. Um, happy that we were able to be a, somewhat a part of that, at least to see it on social media and uh, to be able to congratulate you there. But face to face, uh, congratulations on, on completing that process. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like to hear more about uh, the repatriation, but unfortunately we are out of time. Uh, if other people would want to hear uh, more about that process, how can we get a hold of you? Do you have an email that you can share with me? I do. It's my name, R-A-E dot Morris, M-O-R-S-E at dignitymemorial.com. Well, Ray, thank you. That uh, very, um, I don't want to say entertaining, but uh, it was very interesting to hear about uh, that process. And um, I do want to hear more. So I look forward to getting back in touch with you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being on here with us. Um, if you enjoyed this segment, please subscribe. Uh, hit the button below, subscribe, like, follow us. If you have other additional questions, you can contact us at any time or do reach out to Ray. I'm sure she would be happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one and um, share her stories with you. So thank you, Ray, again for being here. Thank you, Rob. It's been, it's been wonderful to see you and I uh, look forward to talking with you again. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.